So, so it's me, your boy, the something. Good morning, good evening, depending on where you are watching your boy from. Listen, <laughs> this word may sound odd, may sound the way you don't want it, but let me tell you, their wickedness is killing them, and they want you to join them. <laughs> You know, a lot of people are breathing, but they are not breathing. You know, there is difference between you are <sighs> than you are doing. You know, breathing normally. A lot of people up there, their wickedness is the reason why many of them are no longer whom they do used to. Even the breath they are breathing is rejecting them. Why? Because they have already made up their heart to do you or to do you evil. So the evil that they plotted, the evil which they have done, is now frustrating them, is killing them. So many of them now are acting like so. Many of them are acting like so. Are acting like Jezebel. You know, when Jezebel was falling from from window, she was like, <coughs> "Can somebody help the queen? <laughs> the queen is falling down. The queen is falling down. <laughs> Can somebody assist the queen? She think the body guys may be there. <laughs> Can somebody help the queen? The queen is falling. The queen is falling. The queen is falling. The queen is falling. Can somebody help the queen? The queen. <laughs> But suddenly, I can no, I can just imagine that she did not even fall with her bare foot on the ground. She somersault with the head, <laughs> because when God sent a prophet to warn her about what he have did by taking the life of what of 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 someone because of a plot of land, she was like nothing is going to happen. So a lot of people who have done you wrong, all their minds said. Their thought, their belief was that nothing is going to happen. No matter what, nothing is going to happen. If they betrayed you, if they cost you pain, if they do you harm, if they do this, do that, nothing is going to happen. So now that they are now receiving their paycheck, because many of all of us are working. All of us have something that we are doing. And even if you are a student, at the end of what of the if every term, as I do you, you know when I was in school, every term you receive promotion, either you repeat class or you move to the other side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what am I trying to say is this now that they are now receiving their paycheck for the evil they have done, some of them are like this one is too much for us. Who want to associate with us? Co-workers. <laughs> they, they need employer. <laughs> They need someone, someone to join them, to suffer for the evil they have done. That is why you need to do uh, to rejoice over those who have. You know, sometimes when I'm laughing, doing all those things, why? Because believe me, let me be real with you. I may be small, but I have gone through hell. I know what it takes to be betrayed. I know what it takes to be what frustrated. I know what it takes to for someone whom you love so much end up taking your love for granted, betraying you, frustrating you, using you for many years, and at the end, you are dropped down. And now you can now see what they are going through for the sake of what they have caused you to go through. You have nothing else to do than to rejoice over what they have caused you to go through. Why? Because sometimes when God is about to liberate you, when God is about to catapult you, He do what? He use people to make you strong so that when that blessing come around you, you may you will not be you will not do what misuse it. So what am I trying to say is this they are facing their own karma. Their own evil plot is frustrating them, is killing them. Their own wickedness is now tormenting them. So many of them are now what, frustrated. They are really regretting all that they have done behind you, all that they have did. So many of them are pinching them. So they feel ashamed of themselves. They feel humiliated because they never believe 
that that evil, that evil work, that evil setup, those things that they have done will suddenly come upon them and overtake them. The belief was that nothing is going to happen after that betrayal. Nothing is going to occur after that that thing they cost you to the the cost you to go through. They never believe that their own turn will come. So now that is pinching them, they just want you to join them. <laughs> God forbid evil. Because we can't eat where we don't belong. So let them chop and celebrate. The same way they celebrated our downfall. Let them and karma argue, debate. You know, do that with argument without their evil. Let them face it. Because sometimes people are so wicked that whenever they see your growth, the next thing that they will be plotting is how to court it. Whenever they see your sources, the next thing that always comes to their mind, how to terminate it. But God watch it all. Now that God has rebuked them, now that God has set an end to their evil, many of them are regretting. Because what goes around, most surely comes around. The law of gravity have said it. Nature have automatically elaborated it. Whatsoever you plant, that is the same thing you will reap. So what goes around, most surely comes around. So they never believe it will happen like this. They never thought that their wickedness will end up killing them. Remember, blessed, may God bless you.